Welcome to Xar template tutorial lesson number 95 with Xar Web Designer MX Premium version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to use the stop updating feature, which is basically a follow up from our previous tutorial, which talked about how to repeat objects on all pages. And basically, what the stop updating feature is going to do is it's going to separate one of those objects that you create in that repeating group and basically give it its own identity but the other objects will remain and continue to have the same relationship where if you change one of those objects it will affect them all but don't worry I'll go ahead and show you what I mean the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your toolbar and you can pick any quick shape and go ahead and draw that in your workspace and in my case I'm actually going to change the color of my quick shape but you don't have to do that so after you do that Go ahead and go to your page and layer gallery and go ahead and lock that panel. And go ahead and go to your range menu and select the option that says repeat on all pages, just like before. And when you select that option, if you select your selection tool, you'll see that we have the star in the upper right hand corner indicating that this object is going to repeat on all pages. And if we go to our page and layer gallery and click on new page, we'll create about total of four pages so we have total of four pages with that repeating rectangle but let's say for page five that we wanted to keep this same size rectangle but we wanted to change the rotation but we didn't want that to happen on the, the first four pages that we created so what you would do is you would hit new page to create your page five select the rectangle in your workspace and then right click it and then look for the option that says stop updating and when you left click on that it will give you an option to say do you want to stop all copies repeating or just this copy well we just want to separate this one object from that group we don't want to separate the other objects so go ahead and hit just this copy and you'll see that that star disappears and if we rotate this rectangle and we look at the other pages in our group they still remain the same so those first four objects still retain the same relationship that they had before whereas this fifth object is now separated from that group and it has its own identity and any changes that we make to this rectangle will not be reflected on those first four pages so if you have something that is in your document that you want it to be consistent but at some point you want it to change at the point of getting to a certain page you can always stop one of those objects and change them around so I think this will be really beneficial uh, for you guys when you get in a bigger website especially you may have an element that you need to repeat a decent amount of times and then at some point you may want to actually stop it um, from updating it on a specific page so on this specific page you will have a different uh, rectangle than the other pages so let's say that you want to create another new page and we hit the new page button you'll see that when I hit new page it creates that same object because I've set this object to repeat on all pages and retain the same relationship so if, just like before if I move this rectangle around it will be reflected on all pages with the exception of the last page because we separated it from the group so let's go ahead and hit new page again and you'll notice this time that when I hit new page the object does not show up when I selected page 6 and hit new page it left it blank so make sure that you have a page selected that has the repeating object when you hit new page and when you hit new page it'll keep that new object intact and repeating so for some reason I'm not sure if it's because I'm on Windows 8 but for me at least maybe it's different for you let me know leave me a comment if it does do something different for you but for me personally if I don't have the page selected that has the repeating object it won't repeat like in the case of page 8 I thought it was supposed to be able to do that without having to have the page selected but for some reason if I don't have the page selected that has the repeating object it won't repeat so keep that in mind and let me test it one more time actually yeah if you hit new page it doesn't repeat that object on the other pages but if you select the page that has the repeating object hit new page but definitely leave me a note let me know if you have to do the same thing if you have to have the page that has the repeating object selected 
because I'm pretty sure it shouldn't do that it should actually repeat the object no matter what page you have selected so please leave me a comment please test this out so I can find out what's going on and see if it's related to me being on Windows 8 but I hope this tutorial was helpful uh, don't forget to embed comment subscribe share this video give a thumbs up if it was helpful if you have any questions you know please feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day